So I'm going to be building a, a forging press, a small one. Um, not this one, this is the, the first version I did, the Mark 1, um, which works. Um, I've, you know, I've, I've given it a good sort of test and it works, but a little bit of, starting to get a little bit of movement on this box section here, so that would need change if I carried on. Um, this part's fine. This one, right from the start, uh, because of this sort of distance across here, there's a tiny bit of movement there, but the new design resolves that because it shortens this right down, so there should be no movement there, and it's just going to be that a little bit solid. I, in the end, I enjoy building this type of thing, which is why I'm doing it. Um, I could go out and buy one, but for a hobby, for knife making, I, I don't think so. Um, I mean, this £80 for the jack, um, and then the cost of the steel, it's a fairly cheap option for a hobby hobbyist. So, and like I say, it's not really going to take a lot of heavy use. Um, the heaviest thing is probably Damascus bullets when I'm drawing them out. Which, this works fine because I've used a similar operation with this jack, uh, similar setup, and I've made a few blades with it. I've done Damascus bullets and it is fine. It's not the fastest, never going to be as fast as a full hydraulic press. Um, but for hobbyists, for the cheaper option, I think it's fine. It's just, you know, it's, it, the, the main thing is the movement really, it's slower. It's got the power there, but it just takes a little bit longer. But I'm not in any rush. Um, it is a hobby and I enjoy it, so this is what we're gonna do. So we'll get started. So just about the whole sort of construction of this is using, I'm using a 15 mil by 200 mil plate, which is what, um, 5 eighths by 8 inch. Um, so I bought a length of this. It's quite heavy stuff. I think the whole length was about 130 kilos. Um, I'm not going to use all that. I think it's going to be somewhere between 3 and 4 meters that I'll use. Um, so if you were buying it in, you could buy a cut length from the steel stock holders. Um, in fact, it's fairly heavy cut. I've cut all this with a chop saw. But a lot of st uh, steel places will actually cut it for you. Just give them a cutting list. So all the heavy work is done. I mean, it's not too bad. Um, you know, you just take it easy with it. It's uh, it's not too bad. So all I'm doing, uh, I'm going to lay out the pieces. I've marked, and I'm just going to grind a, a V where it's going to be welded. It's going to be welded both sides. So all these parts now, I'm just going to grind them up and then get ready to start welding them up. The important thing with welding is trying to keep this nice and flat. Um, not super critical, but the flatter it is, it's just going to make life easier. So I've just put three tacks on there. Um, what I did do is just check that this was square because that's quite critical. And also just checking it across the plate that were flat. Um, and then I'll flip it over and tack the other side. So I'm just doing short runs at a time and then I'm flipping it over and doing the other side. Um, if, I, if I try just to weld that full side, it's just going to want to start to move. And it's similar throughout the, the build of this. Um, try and balance up your welds to stop it moving, uh, to stop the sheet pulling. Um, you'll need a good bit of penetration with this. It's a fairly heavy steel. Um, the stronger these welds are, the longer this thing's going to last. Um, but the way I'm actually doing it, I'm overlapping steel after this. It's going to have plenty of strength anyway. Uh, so next thing is just to grind them welds off flush. I've tried to keep the, the welds fairly flush, but they are slightly raised. Because the next thing is, is this plate is going to get welded on top of there. So one either side. So we grind both, both sides of this. And then next thing is get these plates welded on. Uh, so just while I'm on my coffee, um, I'll tell you what my plans are for this channel, if it becomes a channel, which I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, I've got a few other projects. Um, I've got a, 
a big forge build that I've been working on for a little while, which uses that compressor tank. And then I've got, um, that'll be a double ribbon burner with a, a divide in the middle, so I can use it as a full length or a shorter version. Um, and then I've got a small knife forge that I've, I'm in the middle of designing, um, where I'm casting the, the refractory parts inside, so it's something a little bit different. Again, that'll be a ribbon burner. Um, I'm also plan. I've got plans to do a, a belt grinder, uh, 2B72. And then I'll also I'll do some some forging of blades. I mean this is this is a gladius that I'm working on at the minute. Um, so this one um, I'm just fitting up the guard and the, and the handle. Um, so I've got plans to do. This was my first sword, so I've got plans for another one. Um, this one's not totally historically correct. Um, so I'll be doing another version of this, which will be a little bit. Fancier, uh, more detail. Um, which, uh, it'll be a uh, pattern welded. Uh, this one's a hundred layer Damascus. The other one will be pattern welded. Um, so that'll be fun. Um, so just in, if you do want to follow the channel and uh, see what I'm doing, but uh, I'll try and keep it interesting. It's uh, I love making the machine parts. It's all part of the hobby to me, as well as doing the making the blades. So now the, the main frame is, is welded and I've just ground them off flat so they're, you know, I've checked it with a straight edge, checked there's no lumps there, just so this plate will sit on flat. Uh, what I've also done, I've added, I've taken off the corner and this is mainly just because it looks good. Um, I'm from a design background and I want things to look good. If I, left, I could leave it square, it would save time cutting, uh, but you know, take a little bit of pride in your work. Um, right, so I've, I've run a bevel um, right around where I'm going to weld and I've also just taken the scale off on there because, and the same on the inside of this plate, run the bevel around where I'm going to weld because that is going to sit there and it's going to get welded right round and onto there. Um, and then the same with the other side as well, I've done that. I've put the bevel on ready to weld. So I'll get that tacked up and uh, it's going to be the same as before, um, working on both sides, um, small amount of time, stop distortion, stop it twisting. Uh, so that's the, that's the frame all welded up uh, and what I've done is I've just ground off these welds on the ones under here. Uh, so it's got a bit of weight about it now, it's uh, pretty solid. Um, and I've also cut uh, a piece of plate which took a little bit of doing but because um, I had to cut the, the plate hard down the middle, dress the edges, dress the face, Got it as smooth as I can um, because that's what the, the, the bottom jaw is going to sort of clamp around this and slide up and down. So that is now going to get welded in place in there. Uh, I need to get it nice and square and just get it, uh, get a good weld on. I'm not going to go too heavy a weld on the back of these uh, because I will get, get distortion on that. I want to keep that as flat as I can. Um, but uh, this is sort of helping in a way with any bend that way in the frame, which there isn't really going to be much 
because all the force is mainly in that direction. Right, so that's that uh, welded up, um, nice and solid. So I've done a full weld on each side, and I've checked it with a with a straight edge, and it's pretty much bang on. It, it must be because of the thickness of the plate; uh, it hasn't distorted, which is which is good. Um, so, so that that's about it for today. Um, that's sort of the bulk of the work in a way. Uh, next things to do is there's a, a base plate to go on here um, which will have I think maybe one or two gussets either side that'll support the actual jack itself um, there's a wider plate we're going with a hundred millimeter wide on the top on the top jaw and then there's the moving jaw the moving carriage to do um, so I'll do that in the next video and uh, and uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. It's uh, total. We've been what a good six hours, seven hours so far. So that's not bad to get to that stage. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing it working.